What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Dying Light where it's got a bumping like industrial track going right now. It's like, wah, 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 wah. I love that. Love it. It's got that Resident Evil sounding music. Not like Resident Evil the game, but like Resident Evil the movie. Alright, so he's grunting at me. Is there anything I can activate or do around here? I mean, I'm not really interested in fighting the zombies. We can climb this thing right now and not have too many problems. So I think I'll probably avoid actually going back. Did I get my agility point allocated? I thought we had an agility point too. Okay, so we have an agility point. Let me get that at the beginning of this one. Oh, we can get health regen. That'd be pretty good. That'd be really useful, although vault is super useful too. So what vault does is it allows you to like kick run up somebody's face and then like jump off of them. It could be really, really nice for getting to areas you can't normally get to because it allows you to essentially like double jump off somebody. So I might consider that. Free running, free running Adept is really good too though. It gives you more running abilities and then it gives you more agility points. Like it gives you like a plus two every time you get agility points. And since you're dealing with every activity you take with agility gives you like five to ten XP. That extra two actually considerably increases it. So in the interest of leveling this faster, I'll probably take that. Just so we can finish the tree off a little quicker. I'm going to try and get up on this railing. What was that? I'm going to try and get up on this railing if I can manage it. And then if we can vault from here over to the tower. Actually, I think this tower was in the press demo. Yeah, this was the tower that was in the press demo. You remember jumping off that? I think there's a, a blueprint at the top of this somewhere. I'm pretty sure anyways. I'm going to climb up this bad boy. And then on this side, I vaguely remember how this was done. Vaguely. Not like super well, but I think we can make this work just out of my old school well. Platforming? I don't know. I learned how to platform from Mario, who was like the champ. So I think that this is going to be alright. I'm not really too worried about any of the climbing challenges we're going to take on in this game. I really actually, incredibly, incred a lot. Like, seriously, I really, really enjoy climbing and jumping puzzles. They're a lot of fun. I think we got... Oh, shit. Okay, so that could have been fatal had I messed it up. I really enjoy these. I didn't say I was good at them. I said that I enjoyed them. So there's a ladder right here. I suppose that I could use that. I mean, I'm trying to do this the hard way, but, you know... So why didn't he grab onto that? I felt like that should have, like, been there. No, it's not counting. For whatever reason, it's taking me through the wall right now. So I'm just gonna, like, stop fiddling with it. Gonna stop fiddling with it. In that case, then... For whatever reason, he doesn't seem to be grabbing onto some of this stuff. Yeah, whatever's on the next layer. I don't know if they put in a clipping plane or something, but it's clearly not letting me do the same thing on the level that I did underneath. So anyways, instead of banging my head against the same wall over and over and over again... Let me see if maybe I can figure out a spot where we can get up here and do a little bit better. Oh, you gotta run up on the ladder. That's the problem. Okay, so there it is. I didn't notice that the ladder was laying on the ground and it was all broken off and destroyed. When it was the former, it was actually attached to here. Now it's the ladder. Let's see. How many times have I made that joke now? Probably a lot of times. I'd be willing to bet it's at least... It's approaching double digits, but it's a goodie. It's a good'un and an old'un. And we also need to... There's a, See that park over there with that statue? We need to go over there in a little bit too because I think in front of the statue there's a collectible and also a recipe. I think. If I remember correctly from the press demo, we'll have to go over there and see. Yeah, there you go. Just climb up that expensive electrical equipment. Clearly, that's meant to hold human weight. It's obviously a load-bearing structure. <laughs> I don't want my structures bearing no loads. Mm -mm. Let's see here. What can I... Okay, so our, our cat grab is not that good. However, we can go to there. That'll work. There it is. And so basically the way that it works, I don't know if I talked about this at all because I, I get excited about this game and then I fail to talk about the mechanics. When you wanted to jump like that, essentially you just climb and then you rotate the mouse, look where you want to go and press space and he'll jump for it and auto grab onto it. The system is remarkably streamlined. Like even in between here and the press demo, I can tell that they've made adjustments and they've made the system work better. Like they've definitely moved things around. It all, it's not like, I'm not going to say it's incredibly more cogent or that it's more streamlined, but it's just like the random things that used to not work now like kind of work sometimes. Like there's definitely some sketchy situations you can, ooh. That was a really, really long fall. Like, that seems like it would be painful. Not like super painful, but just for a second. Like, just like, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm dead. And right before the I'm dead, it would hurt. Oh, no. I climbed up here, too. I shouldn't have done this. I messed up. So now, I've got to risk my life jumping for this little bag stack. I'm pretty sure I missed that. Yeah, we laid it on the back side of that. It still let it count. Thank you, game. The game gave us a gimme, so we're going to have to climb back up that in just a second. But for right now, I'm just going to flip the switch. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. 
<laughs> I just wanted to know. I'm not judging you or anything. I think that's actually a pretty reasonable reason. I mean, reasonable. I guess we can just say that's perfectly reasonable. There you go. I think it's kind of like included and implied in the reasonable part. Let me see if maybe I can get... Oh, he's shooting snot at me. That's no good. I'm going to start from now on. Those are called snot rockets. That's his new nickname. We fight with snot rockets for the remaining. God, that's gross, man. Stop shooting your phlegm all over the place. You're like every punk rocker I've ever met. Punk rockers love loogies. When I was really into punk rock, I enjoyed loogies as well. It's kind of like a pa Oh, that guy's got a, a hazmat suit. Okay. I'm going to get up on the fence here. Let me regroup. We'll come back around this way. And then we'll re-engage. Get him. Yeah, there it is. You just took out your friend, man. Remind me to never be homies with you. You and I are never meant to be friends. Oh, good. I'm bleeding health right now. That's fun. Okay, so since I'm bleeding health... Is there any way to open this without... Yeah, I was going to say. I guess I could just kite them around a little bit. There's a couple up in here just enjoying their undeath together. Till death do us part wasn't good enough for them. They decided to stick it out in the long run. Death did not them part. Undeath brought them together. I'm going to... Ew, his guts are out of his mouth. I realize... I feel like he's going to explode when I kill him. I feel like this might be a poor decision. Honestly, everything about this adventure seems like a poor decision. Remind me never to be a spy. Just never, I want to be no part of any government agency from now on. Because if this ever happened to me, I just sit around just back to back shitting my pants non-stop. Just concentric pants shittings. Just around and around and around we go. That guy's getting down on a dead body over here. There are a lot of Zeds around. I should probably come up with some kind of like methodology for their elimination. We're out of Molotovs. I do have a gun. That's pretty good. But I should probably save the ammo for later. There's just so many of them around. Like, this game really did a great job with the saturation of the zombies and making it feel like there's just constantly so many of them. Jump back from there. Wait for the stam to come back. He's going for a quick swing, but I actually think the wall's messing with him. He's having trouble getting past it. Whatever, there's a clipping plane right there on that corner. It's stopping him from being able to engage the way that he wants to. Jump back from right there. Oh, is the hazmat guy still alive? I thought that he was dead for sure. I don't know. He took that giant sledge to the face. Surprise me. Oh, he lights up. Oh, no. Okay, so he lights up gas cans, too. And so now we could conceivably have virals coming at us. Let me swap out to a better weapon right now. We'll get rid of the military shovel. And we'll take the... Honestly, anything will work for right now. I mean, we've got a bunch of the same old, same old type stuff. So, yeah, I like it. Oh, we got a nail bat. Hell, wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure I hit you right there. I'm pretty sure. There goes a head. Off with her head. I would love to make this... There we go. Make him kill his friends is what I'd like to go for. I feel like it would be both demoralizing and it would also be useful to me. So if I can kill two birds with one stone or two zeds with one swing... That's what we're going to go for. I'm going to get behind this dumpster real fast. We'll just leave him where he's at. Kill off his friends. Oh, her head shattered inwards. That's metal. That is super metal. This is not the game for the faint of heart. Definitely not. If you get queasy about random violence and bloodshed, this game's got it in buckets, so... You might as well. I was going to say in spades, but you don't loot, like, blood with a spade. A bucket would be far more useful, in my opinion, so... There it is. I had to revise what I was going to say. Yeah, I was slightly worried that this might not work the way that I wanted it to, but we'll give him a go. There we go. Stay down. Oh. How did I not know about that? That was awesome. Oh, we need to do that more often. I'm thinking about just starting a business where I put explosive backpacks on zombies and then charge people into my little, like, amusement park to shoot the zombies. Look at that. There's nothing left but, like, an arm, a clutching hand, and a number of other body parts all over the place. Looks good to me. Perfectly happy on my end. Alright, so there's no safe house right now, but we want to check out in here. Watch out for blueprints. Every time you... Oh, look, there's some nice china right there. There's a battle journal. I still have no idea where you read that at. I've looked around still, and I have yet to find the menu where you read the battle journal. There's a couple of lockers right here. There are Zeds around, though, so fiddling with a hard locker at the moment is not really how I want to spend my time. However, if we can get something useful out of it. we got coffee. That's it. Okay. Well, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, I guess. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I just, I was hoping there would be a little bit more. An airdrop was stolen. Not concerned about it right now. Bigger fish to fry. Power's fucking on. Good. I'll head up to the top. 
I feel like Kyle's voice acting is like hit or miss. Like sometimes I feel like there's more urgency in what he's saying than what I feel about the game. I don't know. Maybe that's a problem with me. What is this book called? Day Crew. Sounds like a fascinating book. Then again, maybe it's hilarious. It sounds like it might be a comedy about guys that work on a construction site, perhaps during the confines of day. Open this on up, and we've got cosmetics. Okay, people pay money for makeup. You can also use them, I think, to help you make explosives later on or something like that. We might be able to use them right now. For the time being, we got to get our asses up this tower and handle this thing. So, in the interest of getting something done in this episode, let's get after it. Ah, uh, there's a wall right there. Okay, we'll go up this way. Maybe. You know what? Let's just go up the outside. It'll be all right. Back of the van to there. Like, when you do parkour, it's like when you're... So you guys ever seen the episode of The Office where they're doing parkour? Essentially with parkour, what you gotta do is you gotta declare what you're gonna do before you do it. Otherwise it's not cool, so you're gonna be like, Gainer, off the wall, onto the ladder, up the ladder, off the top of the building, double front flip into the dumpster. You've gotta like call it beforehand. It's like eight ball in the corner pocket, but for like, putting your life at huge risk by jumping off tall stuff. Eh. You gotta declare it though first, otherwise people think you improvised it. For some reason that's not quite as good. Honestly, if somebody can do a gainer off a building and not kill themselves, that's perfectly fine. They don't need to call it in my mind. But, you know, it seems like some people would prefer that it be called. I don't even know if it's worth it to climb up this right here. Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like it might not actually be that useful of a climb. Instead, there it is. I was going to say, I think this is where we got bogged down before in it. If that's the case, let's go ahead and put ourselves across the way. Up and on to the next catwalk. Please don't fall off the building. This whole heights thing never really works for me. And then we can climb up this right here. This little spooling of wire, whatever it is. There we go. And so we'll jump over to that one. We'll climb up this right here. I don't know what I was standing on right there, but the game decided I was standing on something. And I'm not going to question it because I like being alive. The game also seems to be confused about that right there. See, right after I talk about how smooth and how streamlined the climbing system is, it's going to do something like that just to make me look dumb. That's what I've learned from LPing just non-stop over the last couple years is that like every time you make an assertion about how good a game is, it will crash and or display a major game-breaking bug right after just so that you look like an idiot every single time. Every time. It's just like, well. You'd think that I'd learn to just keep my mouth shut and not do that anymore, but no. Nothing else in life has taught me how to do that, so why would I start now? Off the cliff! Did that explode? I can't tell if it exploded. It should, though. There's a climbing flag up here. You'll find these flags in random locations. They give you 500 agility points. They're on top of buildings. They're in places that are actually kind of a pain in the ass to get to. Why is my character swaying around so much right now? Is it because I'm high up on something and that's to simulate like the effect of being afraid of heights? I don't know. That's marginally annoying. We gotta go back down, but I wanted the treasure chest that was on the top. Need of my pirate's booty. ER, give me your coffee and your cigarettes. Ye ash sticks is mine. There it is. So we've got that. I'll probably just drop down on this drum and hope that it doesn't break off or I don't break a body part on it. But I was wrong. I broke a body part on it. What was the... They changed the key around. Okay, it's H for the med kit now, I was going to say. I was trying to remember what it was. I'm just going to... Even if I lose health, I'm just going to try and do this the fast way because we got stuff to do. No time to waste. It says the transmitter is right here. What am I looking for? There's nothing I can interact with. Oh, there it is. I gotta rip the panel off right here. Yeah, I just ripped that off there. I'm sure the power company won't mind at all. Just let it go. Oh, shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck. I was afraid of that. All right. Head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Oh. Okay. Where is east? That way? Unfortunately, I want to go over to the statues and get that recipe, so down we go. Wow, this would be so intense right here. I've gone ziplining before, but nothing that steep or that fast. I feel like that would be a real health risk, though. Usually, ziplines are a little bit less inclined. That one feels like it would pick up speed really, really fast. It would get out of hand. Can I loot these dead bodies underwater? No? Okay. My hope is that maybe every now and again when you find these little docks, there'll be something on them. We should also probably go to the bottom of the water right here and make sure there's not anything laying around on the bottom of the lake because sometimes you find stuff there too. Blueprints and other goodies just in case. I see that he prefers the breaststroke and then the freestyle once he goes up the top. I always preferred freestyle to be honest. I really, really liked freestyle. I was on the swim team when I was a kid. 
but I like freestyle. I wasn't a big fan of breaststroke. When I swam was freestyle and butterfly were the two that I preferred. Butterfly was cool because butterfly is sort of like, it's considered to be one of the nastier swims that you can do, so it's kind of like man points earned right there. Statues all busted up. I remember there being something over here the last time I was here though. Like I know there was. There it is, the statues. Okay, so it was just one of these statues. Little disappointing, but at least we got something for coming over here. Next things, well, I'm not sure where I want to go with this. We could get up on the roof of this little project over here and see if maybe we could find anything. It might work out for us. But then we've got to go through the area anyway, so I don't see what it would hurt to maybe do it on top of the building rather than I'm trying to get his backpack hit. There we go. Oh, he flies all over the place? That was amazing. Do you see that? It's like a little jetpack on his back once you set it off. That was totally worth the health damage that I took, by the way. Absolutely worth it. Super entertaining. Push my way past them. You out of the way. Just hit her once. You know, leave her with a little love tap. Let her know that I noticed her, but right now I don't have the time to deal with her. I think I've got... Oh, i got a runner on me. Okay, so that's no fun. He needs to get dealt with right now. The fun part about the runners is that they're still sentient. Like, if you beat the runners up with a bat or whatever, they'll be like, no, and they'll like, actually, I like, stop, please, and stuff like that. They'll say words if you listen. It's actually really unsettling, because it makes you wonder if you're beating a human being that's still, like, trapped inside their own body to death, you know? Like, people may not be in control of their actions, and you're beating them to death over it. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not trying to, like, make excuses here. Like, frankly, if a zombie attacked me, I don't care what it says. It's getting beat to death. That's just, eh, you or me, buddy. You or me, buddy. At the same time, it does make for an unsettling gameplay experience, I'll say that. I'd like the money out of the registers if I can have it. And then this toolbox, what do you got? A blade? Yeah, we can use that for later. We designed some of our extra, like, Zajigalka type cream. stuff. What do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. So that's good for morale. It's nice to know that the light at the end of the tunnel is a horrible, painful, torturous death if I fail. This is why, in general, I try not to work for psychopaths and, you know, nasty people like that. Psychopaths, warlords, sycophants, all that stuff. All those words that people like to throw around on Tumblr. Let's go ahead and go through the back of this and see if maybe we can grab ourselves a freebie medkit over here. Freebie medkit. You want to be friends with me? Come on. Yeah, there it is, freebie med pit. All right, get inside my backpack. Let's go. Ooh, it's a police van, too. Worth the effort. Always worth the effort. Let's make some more Molotovs, though, because I haven't been crafting anything lately, and we could use a few more supplementary items. We're almost out of lockpicks, so I'll probably go, like, 12 of those real fast. I wish you could actually tick this upwards and do all of the crafting simultaneously, but you got to kind of go through. I understand. It's a console interface. That's, I mean, it is what it is. We PC players, we get very, very used to getting ports, I guess. Some are better than others, for sure. Some are better than others. Like, I've had some ports that are just, like, awful. Where just, there's no way where I've played the game on the Xbox and it plays great, and then you get it for the PC and you're just like, wow, I'm just going to play it on Xbox, I guess, because this does not feel so good with the way that you've ported it. A lot of the time, it's the way the mouse works. When they port it over from, like, an analog stick to a mouse, it gets a little weird. I'm actually just going to set all of them on fire because it's easier than fighting them and it'll clear out the block a little bit faster. Especially since my best guess is that this right here will be a very hard lock. Yeah. No, get away from me while you're on fire. I don't want hugs right now. I'm not in a cuddling mood. A cuddling, loving mood. Plus, I heard you got a case of the pickle crickets. I heard where you've been around town. I've heard the rumors, Delilah. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the sweet spot on this thing. You gotta go very slowly with the very hards. It's gotta be on the other side then. Probably break the first one. That's okay. There. Ah, we got it. Okay, one lock pick lost. Another baseball bat, but my inventory's full. Not gonna bring it. I don't think that I need it anyways, so let's just get to the looting here so I can make a bit more cash because money is always my principal concern in this game. I'm always out of cash. Every time I play, I'm just like, the weapons are so expensive that if you fill up your inventory with really good weapons, you're going to be broke for a little while and you got to have like that recovery period afterwards where you get it all back. Not going to worry about the med van. Probably loot the last couple of these just in case. There we go. Yep, they definitely need a better bra supplier around here. Better bikini supplier anyways. They all seem to be damaged and ripped. Maybe that's from like the groping hands of the undead, but that's a quarantine area. That's what you want to look out for right there. Quarantine areas tend to have a lot of guns and like weapons inside of them and stuff. Alright, so 
Oh, actually, I went the wrong direction. I don't know what I was thinking right there. There were some mushrooms in the grass right there, and I missed them. I know. Somebody will be in the comments being like, so you missed a bunch of mushrooms. Did they fix this? Can I get in there yet? During the press demo, I remember playing this, and the zip lines were deactivated, I think. You weren't able to get in there, even though I did my best to sort of, like, cheese my way around and get on top of these rocks so that I could jump on the zip line. Let me see if it's actually implemented right now. Oh, they put in a clipping plane now. This is the spot where I glitched up and I tried to get over the wall right there in the press demo. They fixed it. I wonder if they saw my video or if multiple people tried that and they saw somebody's video anyways. It makes me feel good. Like, every now and again, I get a developer who emails me and they're like, hey, you know, and it can sometimes be pretty big developers. They'll email me and be like, hey, thanks for showing off that bug in your video. And they're not being sarcastic about it. They're like, it helped me fix a bug that was actually kind of major that would have allowed people to, like, bypass a storyline element or, like, get into an area where they shouldn't have been able to beforehand, like Old Iron Forge and... World of Warcraft, which they've never opened up. Can you still get into Old Iron Forge, or do they fix all the clipping planes and the bugs around that? That used to be a big, like, a huge deal of vanilla. You could get into Underground Iron Forge and run around. It was this zone that they just, like, never utilized. They just left it out for whatever reason. I've seen that in a lot of MMOs, though. I had that in Warhammer Online. I, I got into an area where you weren't allowed to be, and it was like an entire city that was not implemented in the game yet. And I don't know if they ever added it, or if it was just something they left out because it wasn't, like... I guess built in the direction that they wanted the gameplay to go. I don't know why you would just like spend resources and money on a big area like that and then just like never implement it. Just pragmatically, it seems like that would be a waste of development resources. And I'm not saying. Jade speaking. It's gonna get dark soon. If you think you're not gonna make it back to the tower, find the closest safe house. And don't dawdle. Anyways. I'm not saying that in like a judgmental, like fix your game type of way or like you're wasting money. But it's just like, it seems like the sort of thing that you would want to... second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. And probably his son, Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. Alexei and Christoph. So just to be cl just to be clear, just to be clear, you just gave me permission to murder a bunch of people, right? I'm just trying to be sure... I think I probably have to jump over from that rock outcrop right there. That's actually a major issue with zombies. I mean, I'd figure... I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rise? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, 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 I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So we burn for them. That's how we stay safe. Oh no. Ow! That seemed really painful. That seemed like it would be incredibly painful. I just wanted to loot their house first because they've already been like, yeah, he's a killer. So I figure since we're already on this level, we might as well. See, there's notes and stuff like that, but I found no place where I can actually read them. Like, there's nothing in here as far as I know. Nothing in blueprints, skills, map. I mean, I've looked around for the place where you read these. I'm figuring it must be on the main menu somewhere. If anybody could fill me in on that, I'd really appreciate it because I enjoy the little fluff pieces in video games that help sell the world and let you know what's going on. So I really feel like I'm missing out because I can't get into it. Can we get into this van over here? No, van's busted. All right, so the last thing we're going to do in this episode, I'm going to climb up here. Is that one not climbable? Oh, man, did I mess up badly? I hope I didn't, like, do this in such a way that it's not fixable. I... Yikes. We may have to re-enter like this. It might be quicker either way than me sitting here trying to, like, rack my brain and figure out how to get into this location. Made the jump. Look for our way. That's not it. That's not what I want. Right. No. That's also got nothing. Strangely enough, all these... Can I break the lock off of this right here? How's that going to work? I like how the lock, attention to detail right there, how the lock hangs down. Where some developers would just leave it like flush so that they could reuse the asset in other other places. I like that. Oh no, I'm inside of a town right now. I can't bash anything or do anything right now. Okay. 
Well, can I climb up the outside of that? No. Oh, there it is. My bad. Okay, I see it now. There it is. It's just like, it's the same thing as Assassin's Creed. Like, there's been a couple... Did you ever, in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, did you ever glitch out the, the windmill? In that one town, if there's a town in Assassin's Creed Black Flag where you can ride the windmill around, you're not supposed to be able to get up there, but you can actually, like, get on top of the blades if you bug it out, and then he'll just hang from the blades while it goes around in circles, and if you jump out at the top, you can actually get on top of it. Kind of like a fun little thing that I found when I was playing the game. I really liked Black Flag. I was really, really surprised at how good Black Flag was. Then again, I haven't played Unity yet because I heard that it has issues, so I'll probably pick it up for, like, I don't know, like a dime or something later on. Like once it goes on discount. I still haven't beaten Far Cry 4, which is... This fucking climb was worth it. Me too. This seems unbearably risky. Like it's definitely... Seems like there's a huge chance for me to like break something or injure myself. I think I might have to get on this drum over here. Oof. Okay. So that fall was not planned. Neither was that one. Neither was that one. Okay, so that plan came apart real fast. Well. I'm not back on the ground floor, am I? No. I just missed that ladder right there. I do like how they give you an open ladder every now and again so you can recover if you fall. That's well appreciated. I want to finish this before the end of the episode, though. Like, this is kind of a big deal to me. And if I don't get it done, I'm going to feel lame. Come on. Get up there. You got this. Okay, so what I was trying to do was get around on top of that drum, but I don't know if that's even available and or possible. It won't let me climb that right there. Yikes. Where do we go from here? It's getting darker too, which is going to make this a lot worse. I... Yeah, that was not what I was going for. Okay, so we know for sure that that's not going to work. I've tried that a couple times now. This climb's actually sort of interesting. I'm not seeing the opening, and I'm sure somebody's seen it already in the audience, and they're shouting it at me, but I'll get it eventually. Don't worry. I'll get it eventually. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Our watch is beeping at us, letting us know that time is up. Oh, you can climb that right there. Okay, so the entire... Never mind. I know that I've climbed it before, but my concern right there was that it had like that little cover over the top of it that might be blocking me from doing what was necessary to get around. I think we're coming up over the back of the console right here. Oh my god, really? Okay, so that was special. God damn it. Okay, so... Ugh, let me go ahead and I'm going to fiddle with this. Actually, I'm not going to make a cut. It'll be fine. Like, he's just not grabbing onto things that he should be able to grab onto. Like, some of the things that he's missing make no sense, like these big inclined pipes right here. Like, he could hold on to those. It takes some upper body strength, but it could be done. And considering he hasn't had any problem, like, monkey climbing everything else so far, I find it hard to imagine he'd have trouble with that, too. There we go. Up and over the top. We made it. Finally. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Okay, and so that's going to be it for me. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Dying Light. If there's any weird issues in the recording in the last couple episodes, I have been playing around with a new set of software, so let me know. If there's anything that you've noticed that's been wrong with the frame rate or anything else, because these are things that obviously sometimes I have trouble noticing just because I do a lot of stuff every day with video games. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody, and I hope you enjoyed yourself.